Now the 18th question. A box contains 90 discs which are numbered from 1 to 90. If one disc is drawn out at random from the box, find the probability that it bears first part a two digit number, second part a perfect square number, third part a number divisible by 5. I repeat the question once again. A box contains 90 discs which are numbered from 1 to 90. If one disc is drawn at random from the box, find the probability that it bears first part is a two digit number, second part a perfect square number and third part a number divisible by 5. So we have, we are having 90 discs which are numbered from 1 to 90. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 etc till 90. The, so there are 90 discs which are numbered from 1 to 90. We have to find the probability. There are three cases. First we have to find a getting a two digit number. Second we have to find the probability of getting a perfect square number. And the third case is we have to get a number divisible by 5. So in the first case we have to get a two digit number. We are very sure that one from 1 to 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 are 1 digit number. So in our case we require a 2 digit number and the least 2 digit number in this case is 10. Then the next will be 11, 12 etc up to 90. So these many discs are there in our first case. The total number always remains the same. It is 90. Why? Because there are 90 discs altogether. Total number of outcomes will be 90. So the only thing is we have to find the numerator. To find the numerator we are asked to find a probability of getting a two digit number. And these are the only two digit number in the given case. How many numbers will be there from 10 to 90? For that we will deal with an example. Suppose you are taking uh, students from roll number 1 to 5 students with roll number 1 to 5 how many students will be there sure that there are five students how can we calculate or how we will get that five upper number minus lower number plus 1 5 minus 1 will give you 4 4 plus 1 will give you 5 so these many students will be there i will give another example suppose you have to find number of students from roll number 19 to 26 so what you will do is you subtract 26 and 19. 26 and 19 when subtracted will give you the value 7. And number of students with roll number 19 to 26 will be 7 plus 1 which gives you the value 18. Otherwise just count and see 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So there are 8 students. Likewise if you want to find the number of cards bearing numbers from 10 to 90. What you have to do is upper number that is 90 minus the lower number. 10 so how many numbers will be there 80 and we have to add one more so there will be total of 81 cards or 81 disc in this number otherwise total there were 90 disc and we are just avoiding 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 that means we are just avoiding 9 numbers total 90 disc were there and we are avoiding 9 numbers that means the balance disc will be 81 so in this case the disc bearing the number of disc bearing two digit number will be 81 so the required probability what will be the required probability the same formula number of favorable divided by total number favorable means we have to find the number of two digit numbers and we have got the number of two digit numbers here in this case as 81 divided by total disk is 90 so the probability will be 81 by 90 and when simplified we will get the value 9 by 10 okay for the second case for the second case we have to find the probability that it is a perfect square number perfect square number means one is a perfect square number why because it has a square root two is not a perfect square three is not a perfect square four is a perfect square then five is not a perfect square six is not a perfect square seven is not a perfect square eight is not a perfect square but nine is a perfect square and the easiest way is find the square of the numbers one square is one two square is four three square is nine four square is sixteen five square is twenty five six square is thirty six seven square is forty nine eight square is sixty four nine square is eighty one 10 square is 100 but we are not supposed to take 100 why because we have we are having only numbers from 1 to 90 so the uh, perfect square numbers available for us are 1 4 9 16 25 36 49 64 and 81 how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so there are altogether 9 perfect square numbers so what will be the required probability 
required probability will be equal to there are number of the number of perfect square numbers is 9 divided by total number we have 90 so 9 by 90 which gives you the value 1 by 10 okay and in the third case we have to find the probability of getting a number divisible by 5 which are the numbers divisible by 5 from the number or in between the numbers 1 and 90 5 10 15 20 etc 85 is a number divisible by 5 90 is a number divisible by 5 so how many numbers will be there among these numbers 5 10 15 20 etc the easiest way is 1 into 5 gives you 5 2 into 5 gives you 10 3 into 5 gives you 15 that means there are three numbers if i take it till here 4 into 5 gives you 20 so there are four numbers okay so how much into 5 will give you 85 can you say 17 into 5 gives you 85 and 18 into 5 gives you 90 so there are 18 numbers from 5 to 90 which are divisible by 5 so required probability will be equal to favorable that is 18 divided by 90 which gives you the value as 1 by 5 18 means there are 18 numbers which are divisible by 5 in between 1 and 90 how we got that 18 is 5 means it is 1 into 5 10 means it is 2 into 5 likewise if i am taking 85 it is 17 into 5 that means from 5 to 85 there are 17 multiples of 5 plus 90 8 90 is 18 into 5 that means these multiples are 18 in number so number of favorable will be 18 divided by total number is 90 giving you the probability as 1 by 5